this is Pune here. Um, so I remember I told you this about the steps. I went ahead and did two steps. I prepared my canvas and I'm gonna flat my canvas and then show you. And then I have an idea. We're gonna see if it's gonna work together. Yeah, let's get to it. I'm gonna flat and then I'm gonna come back, okay? I saw something similar, so I'm trying to recreate um, and see if it works out. Um, so remember I told you how I mix my paints. Again, if you really want to see me mix my paints, I can make a video. Two part flow troll, one part paint and some water to thin it down. And I'm going to show you my colors, the ones that I chose. Um, a dark color for contrast, um, metallic for some shimmer, and it's a color split. So let's get to it. All right, everyone. So I flooded my canvas. Uh, it's part black and part light blue. For the light blue, I just mixed my white with some aquamarine. And I just have, it's very light though, it's almost white. So this is my base. And then for my uh, colors, I chose um, Prussian Blue by Liquitex Basic. And this is one of my favorites, Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. And as you said, do you remember my Radisson Green Blue Green by Pebo? And this is a magic paint. Da -da -da -da. This is 24 karat gold by Decor. This is another gold by Artist Loft. And I add, added a little bit of a, a primary element to it. Not, not really, doesn't need it because it has enough shimmer, but anyways. Never enough shimmer. <laughs> This is Aztec Gold by, what is it? Sargent. It's not that expensive paint. All right, so I just want a different shade of gold in it. So the plan is, um, you know, we always lay the colors on top of each other, but this time around, I just want to make lines. So when I blew it, it, it would be like, kind of like lines, lines, lines. <laughs> we'll see, you'll see how it works. Okay, um, my first color would be the cobalt blue. I'm gonna do one line here, one line here, and one line here. Okay, again, I'm trying this for the first time. Let's see how it works. I'm gonna do gold next. Random lines. Yay, it's fun. <laughs> and then my favorite color of all time. So, <laughs> today <laughs> is pretty cool here, as if I have to give you the weather report. It was really cold. Unlike yesterday, that was really hot. I guess removing the spoon would be helpful. Yeah, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Sort of looks like a lot of color, but we shall see. blue just one line here for contrast I'm thinking because I have black here but I don't have any dark color this side so maybe one line here all right hmm. do I need anything more maybe a little bit more cobalt So what was, so this was the third step, was the fourth step. So third step is you're mixing your color, fourth step is laying your color. And then remember what was the fifth step? step? This is your little friend, Torch. 
for the bubbles. My torch is not that powerful, but it's good enough. Yeah, you just want to try to pop all the bubbles, but just don't overdo it not to burn your paint. All right, cool. Alrighty, let's see how we're gonna blow that. I am going to blow this way and this way a little bit. Okay. Wish me luck. did not turn out as I planned but still looks cool so let me see if I want to blow anywhere mm -hmm. here Looks cool. Uh, just all the gold sort of disappeared. Just this part has gold. Maybe I add a lot of gold here. Just feel like I can make a little bit of gold. You know, if you're adding three shades of gold, you sort of expect. to sort of make it look water-like so It's cool. I like it. Should that maybe go? I'm trying to torch it. I can see a couple of bubbles. It's for the colors because there are layers of colors. So if you torch it, some of it is going to come out. But these little bubbles, sometimes I don't really like it. That's why I don't torch it. But now I know there are a lot of colors underneath. thing you can do is you can use your finger to 
See, your finger sort of acts like an eraser. And also you can shape the colors. E. I wasn't supposed to do that. This was my clean apron. Unit. What the hell? Alright. Hmm. I sort of like it. What do you guys think? You do. <laughs> Alright. What do you think? I have my friend here. I might fiddle with it a little bit more and then I'll show you a uh, close-up, okay? All right, you guys, I fiddled with it a lot. Uh, just to prove a point, if you don't like something, don't settle. Lesson of the day, okay? So I'm gonna turn you once I figure out how <laughs> and show you a close-up. Okay, see you in a minute. All right, here it is. Look at all the sparkles. Look at all the shimmers. And also the cells are crazy. This 24 karat gold guy, guys, is just magic. It's like pixie dust or something. So for some reason, it reminds me of Poseidon the god of the sea, so that's what I'm gonna name it. All right, please leave me comments. Tell me how you like it. I sort of feels pretty cool. Like it's, this is his head, this is his crown, and all the gold, and maybe this is the, the tri, tripod thingy that he has. <laughs> All right, okay. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, please let me know what color combinations you would like to see. Uh, if you would like me to explain more about, you know, whatever it is that I'm doing. And also feel free to give me inspirations. Okay. See you in the next one. Bye.